Hey friends, I'm back with another book review. This time it's a, not a parenting book. It's a book um, called Halftime, Moving from Success Success to Significance by Bob Buford. And um, I first read this book about um, four or five years ago, and it really stuck with me. I keep telling people about it. And so I pulled it back out to just remind myself of what it was I liked about the book. Um, I ended up writing a, kind of a lengthy review that's on my website. I'll link to that um, below here. But um, basically, I feel like during this time of COVID, <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but I'm finding myself really reflecting on lots of things like, you know, what, how I want to spend my time, um, what part of my work is most important, and what parts can I let go. So basically, um, this really is a good book for anyone pretty much from your late 30s through your 50s, anyone who's kind of been thinking about just kind of shifting your focus a bit. Um, he, he talks, the book is divided into three parts. Um, part one is the first half. Part two is halftime. Part three is the second half. And he relates it to um, like a football game where you play the first half and then during halftime you kind of regroup and reflect and decide like, okay, what are you going to do differently? Um, he talks about how in the first half of life there is barely enough time to go beyond second base. We are hunter-gatherers doing our best to provide for our families, to our advance our careers and to pass our beliefs and values on to our children. So really the first half is the time that's so busy and I know if you're parents of young kids and you're in the height of your career, then um, then you're not ready for halftime yet. You're not ready for this book yet. Um, this is really for people who are starting to kind of think through the shift. Maybe your kids are getting older, not needing you quite as much. Um, you're You've gotten to the point in your career where you uh, really want to mentor other people and kind of pass along what you've learned. Um, a lot of people in this stage might, um, I know for my dad, um, he was always in real estate and then he went and taught at the um, Stanford Graduate School of Business. He taught a real estate course during kind of his transition time. Um, so it's just talking about how, you know, it might be that your career, like you're a teacher or something that you already are having like you just feel like you have so much meaning that you can just keep doing what you're doing and that's great um and but some of us just want to like sit back at this time and most people don't do any assessment we just kind of go through life and it passes us by and we just kind of keep doing what we've been doing but um but i just encourage you to if you're interested to check out this book um it was interesting because when i first read it bob buford was still alive because i was thinking about inviting him to come on my podcast to talk about his book but um turns out he passed away since um, since then I think in 2018 and um, so we can't talk to him but boy his book is a really significant impact um, so yeah he's so he in 2018 is when he passed away anyway I would love to hear your thoughts if you've read this book I know um, my friend Sarah told me that her husband Steve um, gives this as a gift, his favorite birthday gift to people. So I know there's other people who really, really enjoy this book. Um, I especially want to um, direct you to the questions that are in the middle, in the um, halftime section. There's a really good um, section where he gives this list of questions that would be so great to get together with a friend or even a group of people or your partner or spouse and um, talk about, here I'm trying to find what page it's on, but um, basically it just really gives some good good questions to think about as you, as you start planning for a significant um, second half. I'm gonna find it here for you. Ah, here it's called, it's called the, the Halftime Drill I'm sure you can't even see that. So, but um, there's ten questions with some some sub questions here, and like one of them is, "How am I feeling about my career now? Is this what I want to be doing with my life ten years from now?" I mean, these are profound questions. Um, another one: Am I living a balanced life? What are the important elements in my life that deserve more time? So I don't know. I just I feel like this whole year has just I think caused a lot of us to regroup, step back, and really look at what do we want to prioritize. Um, and if you're wanting to take stock and kind of think about what you want to do moving forward, check out Halftime by Bob Buford.